Hey guys, so a few weeks ago, I uploaded the first part of my Gary Newman concert experience, and unfortunately, I had to delete it because the second part, for some reason, wouldn't upload, so here I am to make another one. Alright, so, here's my tickets. Um, Gary Newman. Um, so, let's see. The show was on Thursday, but the Monday of that week, that's when I found out about the concert. My bandmate came in to ask my voice coach a couple questions, and I just happened to be there working. And he said, um, I don't know if you guys knew this, but um, Gary Newman is coming to the Paradise Rock Club in Boston. Do you guys want to come, you know? And the only reason he told us that was because in my band, we are doing a cover of Carrie Newman's song Cars. Um, and so I wasn't really sure if I was going or not. Like, I don't think it was really a big enough of a plan, but I told a couple people about it. And, you know, in any case, if I did go, I would have to work out a plan. So I texted my voice coach that afternoon saying, if I'm gonna go, you have to be going and we need a plan. And I would know how to pay for a ticket or anything. So he texted me back and said, um, let me call you tomorrow. So the next morning he called me and we figured it all out, all out. Like we weren't really sure if we were gonna go or not. And so that was it. And that was on Tuesday. Then on Wednesday he texted me in the morning and says, Call me and you want to talk some things about the concert over with you. So at this point, I still didn't know if we were going or not. So, thing is, I called him the next morning, or called me that morning, and he said, um, no, we're going, just make sure you bring this with you, this with you, just like this, and blah, blah, blah. So, long story short is we did up, end up going to the concert. So Thursday, I did whatever I had to do, um, and the cool thing was I had vocal group before the concert, so I was going to be, like, there anyway, so, um, we did our vocal group, then he had one student after our vocal group, and then we went to the concert. It was really supposed to be me, my vocal coach, and two of my bandmates, but it only ended up being me my vocal coach and only one of my bandmates. One of my bandmates unfortunately could not make it, so um, we just didn't know that until after the fact um, that we got some tickets, so we were stuck with one extra ticket. We tried to get another friend of mine to come, but she couldn't, well another friend of ours I shouldn't say because she's friends with both of my vocal coach, vocal coach. Um, but she couldn't come. Unfortunately her mom was sick that day. Um, so we went to Boston and it took us a good amount of time to get there. Um, we got there probably half an hour before the doors opened, if I'm thinking correctly. Yeah, we got there half an hour before the door opened. Um, and we went to this place called Tea's Pub, which is really good. Um, I just ended up really kind of having a drink there, um, which is like never happens, like I never have a drink. Um, and I had some buffalo wings and some fries. <laughs> I guess that I love my um, voice coach's fries from his plate, but he didn't care, he offered, so you gotta be ready to offer. If you want to share, you gotta think. If I like it, I'll take some. Um, and then... Also, um, then we went over to, um, the Paradise Rock Club and they checked my ID because you had to be 18 or older to get into this rock club, um, so that was cool, um, and the thing is, when we went to go show our tickets, they were on my vocal coach's phone, but it wasn't loading, so we had to go to the ticket booth and get our tickets um, that they should have been able to print out. Um, so thankfully we were able to get tickets, the tickets. Um, so we got there during the opening act, we got some drinks again, um, and I bought a t-shirt, I think, for the opening act. Um, and then we waited 
a, a good time for Gary to come on when Gary came on. Um, so that was basically the thing, and then after Gary ended, we all went home. And then, um, so what I thought of it, overall, I thought it was a pretty, pretty good show. Um, you know, I never really even experienced a rock show. I've been to concerts, but they were all pop concerts, like Demi Lovato and High School Musical, Chitty Girls, they were all pop, but this was like my first real rock, my first rock concert. It was so loud. People were like telling me, oh, it's going to be loud, it's going to be loud. I'm like, oh, I'll be fine, you know, it's not going to be that loud. Boy, was I wrong. And I had earplugs, I just was like, I can handle this. I went to the bathroom probably right after like two Gary Newman songs. My ears were so plugged up because it was so quiet compared to out on the floor. And I believe my head was about to explode. It was so crazy. And then um, just a bunch of things happened. Um, you know, it's all like a blur kind of right now. Um, plus, it's been a couple of weeks also. So, um, so this was my ticket. Um, you know, I like to keep tickets from shows that I really enjoyed. I have one from High School Musical. I have one from Dino Lotto. So this is my Gary Newman ticket. Good to keep a ticket from your first rock show. Um, overall, I would say if you never even heard of Gary Newman, um, definitely a worthwhile check out. The song that I would require you to check out though, if you really want to know one of his songs, I would do uh, Cars. That's probably one of his most well-known songs, even if you don't know who he is. He's more of like an 80s guy, um, yeah, 80s um, song person, and um, you know, um, so yeah, so if you guys have already heard of Gary Newman, comment, along, comment down below. If you've ever been to a Gary Newman show, comment down below what your experience was. And if you never even heard of Gary Newman or what, comment down below and then go listen to cars. Alright, peace out guys, bye.